This short film will provide a snapshot of life on a houseboat, specifically on the Kennet and Avon Canal near Bristol, where hundreds of boaters live without a permanent mooring, as so-called continuous cruisers. The first half will be autoethnographic, using my own experience to analyse why people might choose this lifestyle, what it really entails, and how you earn your place in the boating community, referring to Pierre Bourdieu's theories of cultural habitus. Rich observational data will be collected through a vlog format, as seen on BBC documentary Canal Boat Diaries by former YouTuber Robbie Cumming. I'll record candid footage of everyday life using the most portable kit, a GoPro and a smartphone, aided by various mounts, clips and tripods. A recorded voiceover will provide further context, attempting to remain factual and critical wherever possible, as part of a self-reflexive research process. One overarching theme is time, applying Ben Boll's anthropological studies on the temporal dimensions of life on board, by capturing the contrast between busy metropolitan mainstream society and the slow, unpredictable rhythm on the water. Visually, this will be inspired by slow TV, which challenges fast-paced modern cinematography by taking extended real-time shots from a fixed position, for example, on my boat while in motion, allowing maximum attention to minute detail. Because this will take place outdoors, I'll use a neutral density filter to avoid overexposure and a windproof microphone fleece, although I would like to retain some natural sounds to replicate the sensory environment. Autoethnography has been called biased and narcissistic, the academic equivalent of a selfie, but I'd argue that it helps the audience empathise, and that truly understanding such obscure and evasive groups requires active involvement and qualitative anecdotal evidence which is less attainable through the empirical methods of traditional sociology. However, I will be careful not to assume that my feelings represent every boaters, despite acknowledging practical parallels that bring us together. The second half will take a participatory approach by involving the community in planning and production, with a focus on social dynamics, how boaters create a sense of belonging and their complex relationship with outsiders, including the state. Interviews will be conducted with members of a local group called the Floaty Boat Fund, which supports vulnerable boat dwellers that face sinking, eviction or legal dispute. My footage will therefore serve a double purpose of promoting their efforts and highlighting difficulties that boaters have not only with nearby residents, but with the Canal and River Trust, which supposedly manages the British waterways, yet is often considered an intrusive and oppressive force on boaters' chosen lifestyles. With permission, these interviews will feature close-ups and shallow depth of field shots in order to emphasise emotions in body language and facial expressions, as advised by the creator of Off the Cut a mini-documentary about similar issues from 2016. I'll finish with footage of a regular music event showing how boaters form community through shared ritual, in line with Durkheim's theory of collective effervescence, and also place their identity within a highly symbolic historical narrative. This will combine handheld camera tracking techniques with waist level and over-the-shoulder shots to capture the lively, intimate atmosphere from multiple angles. However, this really depends on ethical considerations of dignity, privacy and confidentiality. I will brief all attendees beforehand and those that do give full informed consent will have the opportunity to omit footage they're not comfortable with, while others will have faces pixelated and all identifiable info like names will be withheld. In post-processing stages, I'll generally leave footage unedited, but may experiment with filmizing, recreating the grainy colour grading of analogue film, because I think the recent revival of this nostalgic medium mirrors some motivations behind the increase of boating. Not only do off-grid mobile dwellings like boats and camper vans demand certain skills which modern society neglects, but, as Bauman suggested, their community-focused rhetoric reveals desire for a romanticised bygone era of mutual trust and cooperation, 
in an increasingly isolated world. Amidst a nationwide housing crisis, they represent freedom from the capitalist work-rent-consume continuum, but have also developed their own cultural sphere, which unfortunately is no stranger to stigmatisation. By recording this, I hope to provide a useful document for the Kenneth and Avon voters in making their case to local authorities and show that life at four miles per hour isn't always so blissful.